Are you looking for an affordable, full-featured alternative to popular DAWs like Pro Tools, Cubase, or Ableton Live? If so, Acoustica Mixcraft 9 Pro Studio might just be the DAW you're looking for. The first version of Mixcraft was released 18 years ago in 2004. I actually had a version of that software which I used to record some of the worst music that no one will ever hear. And after 18 years of Mixcraft, it's safe to say that it's not Acoustica's first DAW barbecue. The current release at the time of this video's recording is Mixcraft 9, and I have the Pro Studio version. Mixcraft offers complete multi-tracking capability, full MIDI support and editing, an impressive library of included VST effects and instruments, full support for third-party VST effects and instruments, a collection of over 7,500 professionally produced loops, sound effects, and percussive samples, and it has a very simple to use interface for recording, mixing, and mastering. It can even edit videos for some reason, which is kind of like the drummer that can also play the French horn. He can, but should he? Currently, a Pro Tools subscription will cost you $389 Canadian, or about $290 US annually, or $39 Canadian, or about $30 US monthly. Ableton Live Suite 11 is priced at $969 Canadian, or $725 US approximately, and Cubase Pro will cost you $874 Canadian, or about $650 US. At the time of this recording, Mixcraft 9 Pro Studio is actually on sale for about $200 Canadian or $150 US. It's regularly priced at $200 US. Once you've bought the full version of the software, they usually offer a discounted price for an upgrade to the latest release. I think I, I got my last upgrade for about 80 Canadian or about 50 US. Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy showed us all the magic of Middle Earth. Amazon's Wish version of that magic made a half-assed attempt to tell us about it in horribly written dialogue delivered by unlikable characters. So, without any further ado, here is Mixcraft. And my axe! It's actually an obsidian dagger uh, dragon glass from Old Valeria, I believe. Okay, so here we are inside of Mixcraft 9 Pro Studio. It's nice and safe in here, and we've got beer. And beer is fantastic. So on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see we have the tracks. So the first track is an instrument track. It's a VST instrument that's being controlled by, uh, that would be controlled by a MIDI controller, like a MIDI keyboard or drum pad or what have you. In my case, I'm using the keyboard to, to control it just because I don't have enough USB inputs uh, to plug in my MIDI keyboard. But to record onto that track, we just arm it and we push record and we've got a little click track in the background and we go and there is our beautiful track and we can move that around all around the timeline as we want to um, we can even kind of just we can shorten it we can lengthen it we can make it into a loop so if this is our little loop here so let's just say that's what we want to be the whole loop. We could shorten that um, and then we could copy it and we could paste it and then we would have two of them. And I did a sloppy job of that because this video is not about doing that, but you can edit um, these little guys here. This is a fully enabled uh, MIDI editor here. You can go in and paint the notes. You can adjust the velocity of the notes. You can quantize them. You can humanize them. You can do all kinds of things. But moving on down here, we unarm our track and we go to our audio track. Arm that and it's the microphone that I am using. And um, let's just lay some vocals over that one. Let's let's just see what this sounds like here. I think we're on to the cusp of a fucking killer track here, people. I think this is a good track, a track. Oh, 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 oh. I think you get the idea there, but let's listen back I to the- I think this is a good track, a track. Oh, all right, and you know what? I, I only really like the first half of that, so we're gonna, we're just gonna, that should be the, that should be the whole track here, okay? I think this is a good track, a track. So now we've got a little track going. 
Okay, so if we expand the mixer up from the bottom, you see basically what looks like a soundboard with basic EQ controls gain. You've got a compressor. You can customize this and add things and remove uh, remove them as you see fit. And I just want to show you some of the effects because there's a ton of effects. So that little piano track that we've got there, if we solo that out, if we want to spice this track up, I think we would just add a simple classic phaser. And we could take a look at that effect and choose a preset. Electric guitar number one, let's just say we can solo that and have a listen to it. So there's a little bit of a phaser sound. And on the vocal, if we want to spice that one up, there's a ton of different effects. I almost don't know how to choose one when I'm sitting here doing this, but just for the sake of this demonstration, we will just add some Pro Studio Reverb, a medium hall, and of course- This is a good track. A little uh, sound reverberated. Um, and of course you can add as many tracks as you like. So if we added another vo uh, audio track, we could select a different input from our, our digital um, interface. And let's just say we wanted to use, there's a, there's even an amp simulator in here. They call it Shred. And I don't have a guitar plugged in right now, so I can't show you what that sounds like, but that's what it looks like. It definitely looks like a Marshall stack. I'll move that out of the way. And there's a ton of presets that you can choose from. So there's a lot to offer inside this software. And as I mentioned earlier, you even have the option because you've made this smash fucking hit of a track here. Um, you even have the option of adding a video track. And I have not personally used this. I probably should. I should probably do a video on it to see if it's any good. I use DaVinci Resolve to edit my stuff. But there you have it. In my opinion, a very full featured DAW indeed. So there it is, Mixcraft 9 Pro Studio, a very rough overview. And for the cost of about 200 US, I personally think it's an amazing deal. If I were to try and think of any drawbacks to using something like Mixcraft, I think the obvious one that somebody would point out would be that if you were trying to do a project with somebody who's using Pro Tools and they were just sharing the project across with you and all the files, it might not work as, as simply as it could if you also had Pro Tools. But if you were just exporting raw audio, it would be very easy to line that up. And I've actually worked with a buddy of mine who uses Reaper, which is actually a free program, if I'm not mistaken, um, that's not dissimilar to Mixcraft. But with Mixcraft, the amount of plugins and stuff that you get, I think makes it worth the cost um, as opposed to something like Reaper. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And if you would like me to cover something directly um, regarding Mixcraft, please subscribe to my channel and let me know what that is in the comments down below. I will be making maybe some very simple tutorials moving forward with Mixcraft. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take very good care of yourself, and I'll talk to you later.